The world's top pacing mares are lined up, set to go for the fifth race, the $278,000 Lady Liberty Final. Here they come. Heather off, Cinder Best is leaving hard on the outside. Hawaiian Flash is showing speed. Yes, it's true from the inside with Sanibel Island looking to settle in early as they battle around the first turn. And on the inside, it's a wine flash, and George Brennan to the front. Cinder Best settles in second, and Eternal Camnation gets a seat in third. Yes, it's true, got away well in fourth. Sanibel Island is fifth. Holding court is sixth past the quarter. Mercy, 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 edging to the outside. Seventh, followed by Aquatic Yankee and Reimburse. Opening quarter for Hawaiian Flash, 27 seconds. Hawaiian Flash leads it at 26 to 1. That long shot dictates things here in the Lady Liberty. Cinderbest is second. The stable maid is Eternal Camnation third. And looking anxious there, edging off the cones with Yes, It's True fourth. Saving ground and moving up is holding court fifth. Sanibel Island hoping the flow starts to develop. Then it's Mercy, Mercy, Mercy. Aquatic Yankee and reimburse the half 54 and three. So it's Brennan in control still with Hawaiian Flash. Hawaiian Flash and Eternal Camnation forced into a first over attack on the outside. Cinderbest stayed in the pocket. The Catman has Yes, It's True. Well situated, second over and fourth. Up third over now, Sanibel Allen sets up her rally. Shuffled back there is holding court six. Mercy, mercy, mercy. Looks to rally from fourth over. Then it's still Aquatic Yankee and reimbursed the back of the pack. Over three quarters, Eternal Camnation has taken over. Easily put away Hawaiian Flash. It's Eternal Camnation and Eric Ledford looking to blow it wide open here. 122 and four. They're in the stretch drive. It's Eternal Camnation. Yes, it's true. Trying to track her down. She's got... Uh, two lengths to make up. On the inside, Cinderbest is third. Sanibel Island doesn't have it. It's Eternal Cam Nation, and Ledford is shooting the works with her. Eternal Cam Nation home in 149 and four. Stakes record in the Lady Liberty. Eternal Cam Nation, a four-year-old bay mare by Cam Fella out of Cool World by Nihilator. Owned by the Eternal Cam Nation stable, Fort Wayne, Indiana. Trainer Jeff Miller, winning driver Eric Ledford. That's your third win this season for this millionaire mare who is a two-year-old divisional champion and Breeders' Crown winner, 149 and four-fifths, a lifetime best and a stakes record for this millionaire mare, Eternal Cam Nation, making the winner's circle presentation, Robert Mandel. Eternal Cam Nation gaining a measure of revenge on arch rival. Yes, it's true here in the Lady Liberty final. Tonight, Eternal Cam Nation has rebounded from many physical setbacks to beat the top open mares here tonight in a career best of 149 and four fifths. Once again, there was a dead heat for fourth between two and seven, Sanibel Island and Liberty winner, Aquatic Eternal Yankee. Cam Nation, Eric Ledford, and trainer Jeff Miller. Eric, coming into the race, post nine, and you knew that Hawaii Flash had post three. She gets out of the gate in a big hurry. What was your early strategy? Uh, in this particular race, there was no strategy. I thought I had to go forward out of the gate. Uh, what was going to happen with Sanibel Island on the rail and Hawaiian Flash, I really didn't know. So uh, I just had to see what, how it developed as it went, but I knew I had to go forward. Okay, you came out first over near the half. Tell us what you were thinking there. Well, I didn't want to be first over, but I didn't. Uh, I actually didn't expect the race to set up like it did. But uh, naturally, I had no uh, no choice but to come first over. But uh, she overcome the trip. Three quarter pole day. You uh, she surged. You opened up lengths. Uh, was that your strategy? And did you think you had it right there? Uh, at that point in time, she was strong. Uh, I don't like to clear that early with her when I do uh, get to the front because she does get a little bit. She waits on them a little bit late. But uh, at that point, uh, with how I am flash on the front, I had to go. The Jugette and that 150 mile or tonight, when was she at her all time best? Still the Jugette. Uh, tonight was a great mile, but uh, the Jugette, she was special that day. Okay, Eric Leffer. Jeff Miller, she's overcome lots of physical ailments in her life. Tell, give us a, a detail of a couple of those. Uh, third operation, uh, EPM treatment, like it seems like thousands of us are trying to treat every day. Uh, and a breathing problem. But. Uh, you know, she's a great athlete. She overcomes it. Great two-year-olds nowadays don't often become great three- or four-year-olds. She's done it both times. Uh, she's got only eight starts here, but uh, tell us what you did. She's been racing quite a bit uh, recent. Um, I think uh, it was beneficial to us last year that she didn't race a whole lot because it gives us a chance to race her as an aged mare here at the Mount. It's tough here. 
I mean, track surface is tough, and I mean, the racing stuff. And, and uh, I tell you, i got to applaud them trainers that have these horses in here for years because they have to do spectacular jobs. I mean, it, I'm patching all the time, you know, and trying to keep a good attitude on her, and, and it's tough. She's got eight starts here in the year. What's next for her? <laughs> well, we got to do a little discussing. I, I had staked her for a few trips against the boys, and uh, I think we're just going to kind of wait and see how she recovers out of this race before we decide that. But she could have the Houghton eliminations next weekend. Okay, you haven't uh, raced that often at the Meadowlands. The Breeders' Crown in your plans too? Yeah, Breeders' Crown. We're here till first of August. Okay, Jeff Barrow, the Connections Eternal Cam Nation, the seventh female past a million and a half, and the ninth female under 150. Congratulations to the winners of the Lady Liberty.